Hope you're gang, gang, gang. Hope all is well with you guys. To my return OG subscribers, what's popping? What's good? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all. Thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really do appreciate that. To my members only community, it goes without saying. I love, love, love you guys. To the moon and back, you know that. This is a Scorpio affair, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Anyway, you got Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your cat, your dog, your mister, your mistress. And let's tap in like we always do around about this time. You should see an ad. Let it play for a minute or so so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you like to purchase spiritual baths, spiritual boxes, memberships, I mean, not memberships, personal readings. You need to be a part of the members only community, guys. We're growing and showing over there. I just dropped a mad channel message over there almost an hour long on the MOC side. Y'all go check that out, MOC. All right, the first energy you're pulling is fixated on your beauty. I feel like somebody's stalking you constantly, Scorpio. It don't stop when one person stops because they go to jail or whatever the fuck, get in another relationship. I just feel like somebody else starts. But I feel like we used to it. So this person is fixated on your beauty though. This person is giving me obsessed stalker or some shit like that. You're pulling the joy card. You could be glad that somebody fixated on your beauty, Scorpio. It says, I secretly date strippers. Okay. Here, here we go. What else? Codependency coming out in the reverse. Somebody, I'm getting somebody like batshit crazy here. I'm getting that energy. Like somebody got a mental problem. Somebody, somebody is dealing with inner child traumas. I feel like somebody was sexually abused when they were a child. <clears throat> I feel like this person is very um, weird sexually, like awkward. Like this person do shit that you ain't never even thought about wanting to do Scorpio. Um, I feel like they date strippers because they, you know, pay to play. Whatever their fetishes is, whatever this weird ass awkward sex fetish this person has from being sexually assaulted um, as a child, I feel like, you know, they have to date people like strippers who perform for a living. They'll do anything for change, you know, it's that type of energy. What else? I feel like this person's codependency is sex. Yeah. <laughs> Toxic is coming out in the reverse with drugs. Mm. I'm hearing you're their drug, you're their codependency, Scorpio. I don't know why this person is taking some type of liking to you. You got fuck this coming out in the reverse. Hmm. Every part of you touch my soul in the reverse. Alright, let's go ahead and get straight into the tarot with this shit. Because this... You could be a stripper, Scorpio. But I secretly date strippers is in the middle of your reading. I, I feel like too, whoever, whoever this is, it I don't know. It feels like you dating them. Look, the devil on the bottom of the deck. It feels like, for some of you, it feels like you dated them once upon a time. And this person brought you a lot of joy. It was, it was cute how... You know, obsessed they were with your beauty, always constantly complimenting you, telling you how beautiful you are. You know, you took it as such. But really, they, this person 
was obsessed with you. This person is stalking you to this day. I feel like with the codependency and the toxic being in reverse, it's not one of those things where this person is trying to hurt you or nothing. It's not where like this person will come to you and say anything to you. It's just they fixated on watching you is what I'm getting here. All right, let's see. Why is fixated on your beauty here for Scorpio? The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's like this person, I feel like they lie and wait. Like the paparazzi almost just to get a glimpse of you. If you dated this person in the past and they got pictures of you, I feel like this person do weird shit with your pictures sexually. Like they masturbate, they, they, or something like that. Everything about you turns this person on. For some of y'all, this is somebody who just, it just saw you somewhere and they followed you. The Ace of Pentacles is here. Yeah, I'm here and they'll pay for some, I, I'm here and they'll pay for it. <laughs> I'm also hearing too, Scorpio, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like something is coming in for you very quickly here. Something, something very positive. Something that makes you a lot of money, makes you happy. Something you manifested. What else? The fool, yeah. <laughs> I feel like something spontaneous just happens, like. For the, for the good that's going to bring in money here. feel like this sets you aside. It makes you independent. I feel like this is coming to you because you've had blind faith. Like you knew it was going to happen. Couldn't nobody tell you it wasn't. You feel me? It's that type of energy. Why is joy here? The justice. Hmm. The sun. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm hearing something is gonna be like ruled in your favor. If you're going through some type of divorce, or if um, somebody could get wrongfully fired, I'm hearing that. But it, I, I'm hearing it's for the better because you start your own business or something like that. It makes you step out on faith. Because that's all you can do after that, you know, at that point. And I feel like you, you, you end up very happy, Scorpio. I feel like life is fair to you. What else? You are the Empress. You are the Justice, Sun, Empress, Leo, Libra energy. Real heavy. I just feel like you are beautiful. <laughs> A lot of people are going to be obsessed with you, Scorpio. I feel like this is like... But this is like, for some of you, this is just a, a, like people admire you, secret admirers. But for some of you guys, this person is obsessed with you, just period. They're not going to hurt you or anything like that. But King of Cups on the bottom of the deck, this is somebody who is really emotionally attached to you. Especially since y'all are not together anymore. This person looks at your picture every day like y'all together. This person know y'all can't be together, however, is what I'm getting. But they watch you. They follow you as well, Scorpio. Why does I secretly date strippers here? The Queen of Wands in reverse, yeah. They, 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 they like people who do strange shit for change. That ain't Scorpio. Or do anything they need them to do or however they want them to do it. It's like, nah. Scorpio sound, you know, I'm more on the meat or potato side, but if we want to get into some weird shit, if it's weirder than what Scorpio into, then bitch, it's just too goddamn weird. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's just too much. What you want me to do? This person, yeah, why is the Queen of Wands here on our date strippers? It's probably a stripper you dating. Yeah, the Seven of Wands in reverse. This somebody who just, you know, they pay them, they do what they want them to do. The Moon in reverse, yeah. This is a sex worker. <laughs> Period. I feel like when you was with this person, he was seeing strippers and sex workers. Whatever strip, if you got a strip by your house, like where the prostitutes, every every city got that, where the prostitutes and drug addicts, I feel like 
this person frequent that when you was with this person, Scorpio. That was their life. You didn't know it. On codependency, you pulling the devil in reverse. For some of you Scorpios, I'm just getting the energy like this was somebody you were you was really crazy about. But the thing about it is, um, I just feel like this person had a lot of shit going on with them anyway. Like even though this, like you got to be crazy to be still all these years later following somebody around, masturbating with their pictures and continuously like having to look at their picture every day when they're long gone. Like period. I'm also hearing this person never saw anybody after you that looked like you, Scorpio. That's why they, I mean, maybe if they see somebody that's, I don't know, <laughs> look better than you or whatever the fuck, maybe they'll move forward. It's, it's weird. Why is the devil here in reverse on codependency? It's like this person don't drink. They don't do drugs. They just fixated on you. You're the page of wands in reverse. This person is very like meek and mild tempered. The Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, it's like they ain't trying to come in and have no relationship with you no more again or nothing like that. It's just like, but they, cause they know they fucked up whoever this is. But it's like they have to get their fix every single fucking day of you, period. Whoever this devil is in reverse and the codependency in reverse. This person has to get their fix of you every single day. I feel like the codependency and toxic is in reverse because you're not there. I feel like that's the only reason it's in reverse because y'all not actually together. But I feel like this person is codependent. I feel like they are toxic and on drugs when, when you're around them or when you was around them. But this person was fixated on your beauty for sure. But y'all had too many problems. Too many problems. Why is the um, toxic drugs in reverse? I just feel like too with the Knight of Cups in reverse, this person didn't treat you right, treat you well. Feel like they was toxic and fucked up. The Page of Swords. Feel like this person followed you a lot, was in your phone, you know that type of aggravating ass energy. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This person knew they had nothing to offer you, Scorpio. Period. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and you ain't fucking with it no more. You done. This person lied, cheated, they're done. Because I'm getting the strong, I'm getting a lot of stories, but the one I'm getting most is like, you was with this person. And when you was with this person, they pretty much deceived you. Okay, this person is weird as fuck. They got a lot going on with them that they refuse to deal with, Scorpio. From childhood traumas, even the traumas they had since they've been grown, you know, it's like they never worked on this shit. Never. And you just here you are just living your life, wanting to be happy, wanting to celebrate your life, wanting to be, you know, in a connection with somebody, but not just anybody. You're no longer settling. You love yourself. So you want somebody that's gonna love you like you love you. And if you don't if you can't have it that way, then you just rather not have it. You just love on yourself. That's his period. But yeah, heavy on the stalker shit. <laughs> What's the advice here for Scorpio? You got the four of cups. It's coming out in the reverse. This person will never get bored of you, Scorpio. Never. This person has to get a fix of you every day. This person, you know, they're happy when they see you with the four of cups in reverse. You're the hermit. I'm telling you, this person closed off. You, you'll you never catch them. Maybe not catch them watching you, but they follow you and watch you, your pictures. Your, if you're somebody seen in the, in the social, in like the public eye, they watching you every day. The nine of wands is in reverse. They just can't stop. They can't stop watching you. They can't stop feeling the way they feel about how you look. What else? Why is the nine of wands, nine of wands here? You have the tempers in reverse. This person can't have no type of peace unless they see you. Tap in is in the reverse. And the four of swords, even while you sleep. Is, I'm hearing too, this person used to watch you sleep. This person used to watch you sleep. That's just how fixated they was on you, yeah. The ace of cups. Under the bottom of the deck, it came out in the reverse. 
So it's like this person, they they, they don't want to be in a relationship, Scorpio, but they just want to look at you. <laughs> That's the weirdest energy I got ever, I think. Let's see. Let's get some more um, messages, downloads, because I got a lot of stories from that. Whatever this shit is, you ain't fucking with it, though, Scorpio. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. With the with the page of swords, so I'm a uh, so I'm a fuck with you. You ain't got no money, you can't offer me anything, and you the type of person gonna have all kind of shit in my phone and trackers on my damn car, and you gonna you just pure aggravation. It's like you ain't fucking with that shit. You see it, you know it's toxic from a mile away. That fuck fuck this in reverse is cause you you don't have to say that no more. You keep them triggering ass people from around you. You ain't with it. I ain't got to say fuck this, fuck you. It ain't in my energy no more. That's just period. Let's see, what else? The Ace of Cups in reverse. This somebody, <laughs> they don't want you to have a new star, but they don't want to be in love because they fucked up and they don't want to do the work. They like this sex work they do. Because I feel like they might strip too. They might be in, into some type of adult industry type um. Escort service or some shit like that is what I'm getting with them. On the bottom of the deck, you have visionary, feeling hopeful and empowered, thinking positively, moving forward, beginning to think about or planning the future with imagination or wisdom. Absolutely. That's your total vibe right now, Scorpio. Breaking barriers. It says realizing the truth with the understanding you must push forward with the connection. Removing obstacles that resulted in cultural differences, family situations, or sexual orientation, etc. Yeah. I feel like, too, that's religion again. <laughs> you breaking barriers. You getting over that, you know, that limited thinking, man. You moving forward. Leo could be significant. I mentioned Leo up there with Libra. Magnetic. Their um, positive attributes are their magnetic, enthusiastic, outgoing, creative, romantic, leader, generous. Negative um, attributions, pompous, show off, over dramatic, pretentious, bossy, jealous, and possessive. Yeah, this could be your karmic mom or father. Third party situation, main character, a side piece, another person got in the way of the relationship, feeling betrayed, and second guessing <clears throat> self worth. Yeah, I feel like this person had a whole nother life going on, even when they was with you. You're pulling winter, December the 22nd to February the 6th. Something very interesting is going to be happening during that time I'm hearing. You're pulling Pisces. It says, I had an idealistic view on what a relationship should look like. You challenged that perspective and made me question my whole value system. I didn't understand what you were trying to teach me, but I do now. So you could be dealing with the Pisces. You could be going into union with the Pisces or Leo. Free will, independently taking action regardless of effects. Having the capacity to make their own decisions without constraints from others. Absolutely. This is somebody who's free-spirited. Chaser. We keep getting this chaser. Feels unwanted and self-blames, feeling pain, hopelessness in the confusing situation, feeling empty and lost without twin, experiencing dark night of the soul. Yo, we keep pulling that chaser car. I'm talking about in the other decks. Like, that's crazy. Somebody, somebody, is, somebody is chasing you now. It's just crazy. When you were sitting right down the edge of the bed. Patience, persevering in the face of delay, suffering in silence, but holding out. Continuing on with life with struggles, but having hope things will turn out fine. That's you being hopeful, Scorpio. A lot of signs showing up. Divine Feminine. Compassionate, loves life, soft, understanding, insightful, empathic, creation, birth, renewal, healing, restoration, acceptance, connection, oneness, receptivity, nurturing, and growth. Absolutely, Scorpio. And then you pull in the Aries. So we got Pisces, Leo, and Aries. It says, I was impulsive, irrational, and selfish. I pushed this connection to its breaking point. I'm sorry for causing so much conflict in our lives. Yeah, people just, you know, it's crazy, Scorpio. I mean, 
I don't know how this person would get in touch with you, but it looks like they're getting some type of message to you about what they did, but still, you ain't fucking with them. And for the other people who this person just following you and stalking you, I don't know what, you know. I, I just don't get the energy that this person is trying to hurt you. They just truly are intrigued by how you look. For some of you Scorpios, you could be foreign or you could look exotic or something like that. I don't know, but it's just something about you. And whoever this whoever this is who, who was actually with this person in a relationship, they used to watch you sleep. And if they watch you sleep, you know you know who I'm talking talking to. It's your confirmation. Like, period. You you probably caught them a couple of times. Scared the shit out of you. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, if you're still with me, like, subscribe, join the membership, guys. I just did an hour channel message over there on their side. I'd love to have you over there. I'm going to be over there more often, guys. Go ahead and upgrade those memberships because that video is going to the next tier, tier two and above. So make sure you guys upgrade those memberships. All right, Scorpio, I love you guys so, so much. And don't forget when you donate to leave the money emoji. All right, this weekend I'll be picking two more people. All right, I love you guys. See you in the next video.